What's up everybody and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Drum Bunker Dragon from Future Card Buddy Fight. Let's get started in the center of our page with the bottom edge of the helmet. So over on the left side I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and then in towards the center. So let's start out here. Curve down and then in towards a point. And I just want to curve up and out towards the right. So we go up towards the same height that we have on the left. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath this edge. Starting back on the left side, I'm going to leave a little gap and draw a half circle. Curving down and then back up. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Curving down and then back up. Let's draw the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. So halfway along the length of the eye, we'll start up here, draw a half circle. Curving down and then back up. Leaving a little gap on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now in the center of the iris at the very top, we draw a small circle and fill that in black. Let's add that horn in the center of the face. Starting from the middle, we draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the left. Go back to the top, come down and out towards the right. Now we're going to connect these two lines with a curve. Coming around towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's add that detail to the side of the horn. Starting on the left side, on the inside edge of the eye, we draw a short angle line coming in. Do the same thing on the right. Then go straight out with a short line. And we're going to pull this down and in towards the side of the horn. Now we're going to go back up and work our way down the side of the head. Starting on the left, we're going to start by coming down and then bending that out towards the side. And then we'll add two fangs on either side. Starting on the left, we're just going to round this out and pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curve around and then in. Let's taper this back up. Starting at the bottom, we're going to go up and then bend that in. I'm just going to round out the top. It's going to curve around and then back out towards the left and then the right. From the inside edge of the left fang, we're going to curve down and then in. And do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're going to curve down and in towards the center point. Let's so start back on the left, curve down and then in towards the middle. Let's go back to the left side, just underneath the fang. We're going to curve down underneath the tip of the mouth and then back up on the right. So start out here, curve down. I'm just going to bring that back up on the right. And then on the side of the eyes, we're going to draw two short lines going up and out. Let's draw in the helmet. Starting from the left side, from this point, we're going to curve out and then up. Now we're going to add a socket. Starting back on the left side, we're going to draw a small half circle. Curving in and then back out. And then from the top, we're going to curve up and in towards the center point. Let's start on the left, curve up and then in towards the middle. And curve out and down towards the right. Let's go back to the top in the middle. We're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Let's add a strap on the side of the head. We step out, we're gonna curve in, and then down on top of the fang. And then we're gonna add a stripe on the side. Starting up here, we're gonna curve down and then up. Let's add those two large horns on either side. Starting from this point at the top, curve out and then up. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side to the same height. Now from the bottom, we're going to draw that same curve. Starting out here, curve out, and then up. Let's close off the end. We're going to connect the outside to the inside with a curve going up and then down. Now back on the side, from these top two points, we're going to angle up and out towards the side. And then we'll connect these two points with a curve. Going up and then back down. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Angling the sides out. And then connecting the tops with a curve. 
Let's add the base of the horn. Starting back on the top, we curve in and then back out. We're gonna do that one more time. Stepping out, do that twice. I'm gonna add some hair along the top. Starting over on the left side, we're gonna curve up and over towards the right, right about there. I'm just gonna taper that back down towards the right side. Now we're gonna layer the hair in behind. On the left, we're gonna step up, curve out and up. Line this up on the right, we're gonna do the same thing, going up towards the top. And then again, we're gonna pull this out and then down. Just on top of the helmet. And then we're gonna add one more spike on either side. From the left, we'll step up, curve out and up. And then we'll pull this down and in behind the horn. Now we're gonna go back in and add the detail to the helmet. From the left side, we're gonna step over, draw a curve, going out and then back in. Just line this up on the right and go in the opposite direction. Curving out and then in. Now back to the top, we want to taper this about halfway down. Coming out and down to right about there. Leave a gap and then continue down towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming out and down towards the same height. Leave a gap, come down and then in. And then from the inside, we're going to draw two short angle lines going up and out. And then again from the top, I'm just going to draw that same curve. Going up and then in. Go to the bottom and curve down and in. Then we'll connect the top and bottom with another curve, going out towards the left and then pulling that back in. Let's fill those details in black. Now we're gonna add one smaller detail on the outside. Starting over on the left, we're gonna curve out and then in. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna go back to the top, we're gonna bend this out a little bit further and then back in towards the bottom. And then again, we're gonna fill those in black. We're gonna add another horn on the side of the head. Starting down here, Curve out, and then up. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Bring up to the tip of the horn, and then we'll pull this down and in towards the side of the fang. Let's add another spike of hair in between the top and bottom horn. So starting underneath this top horn, the curve out and up, with a short line and then we'll pull that down and in on top of the bottom horn. Let's add some more hair along the bottom. Starting on the side of the fang, curve out and then down. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now I'm just gonna taper that back up, but we're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna stop right about there. And then from the top, we step down curve out and up. And we'll pull this down and in behind the bottom horn. Okay, now that we finished the head, let's work our way down the body. We're gonna start with the chin strap first. So back over toward the left side, I'm gonna curve down and then in towards the center point. And then we're gonna pull that back up towards the right. Going out and then up. And then in the center, we draw a straight line coming down. And then at the top of the strap, we move over towards the left and draw a half oval. Coming down and up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll leave a gap and do that one more time. Now we're gonna add a circle in the center of the bottom. Starting at the very top, work our way around to the bottom of the circle, and back up towards the top. I just want to trace this out on the inside, drawing a slightly smaller circle. And we'll draw an even smaller circle in the center. 
Now we're going to go to the outside of the fan. We're going to curve down and then in towards the side of the circle. Do the same thing on the right. Curve down and then in towards the side. And then we're going to go to the inside of the fan and draw that same curve coming in towards that circle. Curve down and then in. From the side of the circle, we're going to step out and draw a curve. From the top, going out and then back in on both sides. Let's move down and draw the sides of the body. Over on the left side, we're going to curve out and down towards the hip. Go to the right and do the same thing. And then we'll connect the sides of the body with a curve. Coming down and then back up. And from the left hip, we're going to step up and draw that same curve. Going underneath that circle. And back up on the right. Let's add the buckle. Leaving a gap in the center, we draw two straight lines. One on the left and one on the right. Let's trace this rectangle on the inside. Let's add those flaps along the bottom of the belt. So over on the left, we curve down and then in. Go to the right, curve down and then in. Now we're going to create three points along the bottom. So on the left, we'll go up, do the same thing on the right, and we're going to come down and in towards the center. Then we're going to go back up to the top and draw the side flaps. Starting from the left, we curve down and then out. Now let's add a couple points. We'll go straight up, with a short line, and then go out in an angle. Now we're going to go back up to the hips, we're going to curve out the side down towards the bottom of the flap. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and draw the inside of the leg. Let's start on the left side, we're going to curve out and then down towards the heel on both sides. Now back on the left, we're going to round up the heel and then curve up towards the claws. Let's add three claws on either side. Start from here, we're going to curve up and then hook that down toward the tip of the first claw. And from here, we're going to curve up and in towards the base of the foot. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by curving up and then hooking that down. And then from the inside of the foot, curve out and then down. Let's add two more claws on either side. Starting from the top of the first claw, we're going to go up and then hook that down. And then we'll pull this up and in behind the first claw. Let's do that one more time. Coming out down and then pulling that in. From the top of the last claw, we're going to curve up the foot and then pull that down. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up and then bending that down. And from that center point of the side flap, we're going to curve out and then down on top of the foot. Let's move back up and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, we're going to step down, we're going to curve out, and then down towards the claw. Let's line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Curving out, and then down towards the same height. Now we're going to add in the claw. From the tip, we're going to curve out, up. Now I'm just going to round out the claw and then pull that down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up, rounding out the top, and then pulling that down. And then we're going to stack two more claws on either side. Halfway down the outside, curve out and then down, curve up, and then pull that down in behind. Let's do that one more time. Curve out and then down, curve up and then in behind. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the outside of the last claw, we're going to curve out the arm. We're just going to pull that into right about there. And then from here we're going to curve across and then down towards the inside of the arm. On the right side, we're going to start with that large drill. Starting from the top of the last claw, curve in and then back out. Now from the top and bottom, we're going to come up towards the center point. So let's start with the top, going up in an angle, and then we'll pull that down towards the bottom. And then we'll add a few curves along the inside. Start from the top, curve in and then back out. Do that two more times. 
Now from the inside of the arm, I'm going to draw that same length line going up and then out. I'm just going to pull this down and out in behind that drill. And then we're going to move down and draw that same curve coming in toward the inside of the arm. Let's draw the folded cape on top of the arm. From this point, I'm going to step down, go up, bend the cape in. Go to the top, curve up, and then in behind the head. Let's do the same thing over on the right. From this top point, we'll step down, curve up, and bend in the cape. Step out, curve up, and in behind the head. Now we're going to add the cape in behind the arm and body. So let's start underneath the claw, curve down and then out. And then we're going to add the torn edge of the cape. Curve up and then down, curve up and then in behind the legs. Let's add a hole on the inside to so draw a circle. And then on the right side, we'll draw the cape in between the arm and body. So we'll start in here, curve in and down, curve up and then in. Then we're going to add a small circle. Let's add the tail on the right side. Start from the side of the leg. We're going to start by curving down around the claws and we'll pull that up. Let's add a little curve along the end. And we're going to taper the tail going back in behind the leg so it gets wider. You come down and then in. And then we're going to split the height of the tail in half. Starting from the end, let's go in between and then back up. Let's add some scales along the top. Starting at the top here, we're going to curve out and then down. New gap, do that again, and add a couple more. Let's add an oval to the tip of the tail. From the top, step down, curve out, around, and then back in. And then from the sides of the oval, we're going to go up towards the center point. Let's go at the top. Going up, and then back down. And then we're going to add two small curves along the inside of that drill. Let's add the end of the scarf over on the left side. So we'll start on the side of the arm, curve down, and then hook that up. And from the end, curve down, and then in. And from here, we're going to curve down and up with a short line. And it's going to step in to create an overlap. So a short line coming down. Pull that up underneath the arm. And that's pretty much it. There's Drum Bunker Dragon from Future Card Buddy Fight. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.